Yeah, I know. Welcome to Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat. I have Mr. Rico Gonzalez here with Novart Corporation. Well, this is the world's first collaborative robot. We call, we call it a cobot. So a welder interacts and manipulates it, basically like its own welding toy. And we're introducing it as a collaborative. So that means that no matter how uh, qualified the welder is, uh, or disqualified, I guess, and that's talented, he can use it with ease, basically like an iPhone. Uh, you could operate it like an app. So we have this HMI that you can select a recipe for any specific pipe diameter. We pre-program recipes for different diameters, for different pipes. So you pretty much plug and play. It takes as little as a couple hours to train basic functions for an operator. And we could have this installed and ready to run in two days from the time you purchase it. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. Fast, repeatable, metal deposition. Consistent, consistent, consistent quality is what basically Novark is trying to develop. Uh, automation with consistent quality, repetition, uh, no strain on the welder whatsoever. Your physical uh, impact set is, already here. is minimal. Right. So we, we have inch, eight inch, schedule 40, root pass. We have positioner speed. We have amplitude for the weave amplitude. We have frequency, how fast the nozzle, the gun's gonna be moving. Uh, we have our parameters from weld mode. This is the program we're using, 309 non-synergic STT. In this case, STT non-synergic. Wire feed speed. We have peak amperage and background amperage. So the pipe is positioned to weld in the 1G and the gun right now is around one o'clock. And you can see it here at the same time. We have a safety feature that if you move the arm, if you touch the arm and it detects uh, a movement for safety, it'll disable the controllers. So we just reset it and run it again. Ready? Ringo, this thing welds about as good as I do. <laughs> or you, I mean. I'm, I meant you, <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right there, it just switched programs by itself. We're going straight fill now. Straight fill. We're, never, we're not stopping. We're not doing We're not stopping. It switches programs. Thank you, thank you. It's uh, it's been a lot of welds. Well, pretty smooth. Three passes. I was impressed. The transition. Uh, right. I've looked inside here on the route. I believe we've got some B-roll going in here, but that right. transition and that blend, that repeatable amount of reinforcement, fill, uh, deposition. You know, I'm watching this thing under the shield as it went through the the, the cycle, and we went directly into the fill pass. Wow, that was, I mean, that's just, that's cool. So we could, uh, you know, we could just turn out 100% x-ray quality work, just bang, 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 repeat. Absolutely. Plus you have all of the accountability features. We were talking about saving file systems. It stores all the data, so all the video that's being recorded, it's stored away. So you can come back and pull that file five years from now if you want to. That's a really nice thing about the quality control aspect of this feature, right? Wow. That is some impressive stuff. Really appreciate your time. Very nice product. You're very welcome. Yeah. Bob Moffat with Weld.com, Fabtech, Chicago 2017.